Well, my package finally arrived. This is my new wind turbine. And shout out to Toys for Watts because uh, he did a pretty good review on those. I sort of liked the results of what he had, so I went and bought one. I think I paid, I think around four bills for this thing. And we're gonna unbox it right now, so let's see what this thing looks like. So this I'm assuming we're gonna start with a small box. I'm assuming these are the blades. I can tell right away that this is a full airfoil. <clears throat> it's really thin, but you can see it. And I can feel it here. I can feel the airfoil. Actually pretty stiff. I got the black. They were a little bit more. It might have been a different material than the white. And I got these interesting little little uh, shapes on them. Like, I think that's to break up the turbulence. You see those things on airplane wings. Like, you know, the little V-shape. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That's kind of cool. I wonder how much that actually affects it. Yeah, just pretty much the three blades here. We got there's something else in here too. I wonder what this is. Some kind of a bonus package. This looks like we have an aluminum tube. I'm not sure yet what that's for. Maybe that's to mount the wind generator. I guess we'll see after we get this thing opened up. Alright, now it's off to the big box. You know, I was kind of surprised this thing was shipped all the way to, from Turkey and arrived at surprising, surprisingly fast. This thing is manufactured in Turkey, I'm assuming. Alright, so what do we got here? This looks like a tail vane. It's a pretty sturdy, solid piece of plastic. Made in Turkey, right there. So... Yeah, that's not too bad for quality. I mean, it definitely has some heft to it. You can feel it. Oh, mercy. That hub is no joke. That's, uh, that's like 5 16th steel. I'm pretty impressed with that right there. All right, so let's see what we got here. Now we got some nuts and bolts. These are all Allen head, and they appear to be stainless steel, which is good. Now we've got the, uh, the nose cone, and here's the here's the little jam itself. Now this baby, yeah, I got the 24 volt model, so it says 24 volts maximum, 1600 watts. Weight is 20 kilograms. So that's a good 40 pounds, easily. Let's see here. Ah, this is it with the tail. Let me kind of see what this baby looks like. Three phase output. So they must have some kind of a. So these wires are turning with this stub. So they must have some kind of a, um, a brushed system in there to actually transfer the energy, which that's kind of cool. To me, it doesn't make much of a difference. I've I've ran the wires just down the center of the tower. They never seem to twist up that bad. If they do, you just simply untwist them. I feel just an ever so slight bit of cogging. It's definitely a permanent magnet, but I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. Obviously, they've got this designed to work pretty good. So I'm assuming this pole goes right over top of that. And I assumed incorrectly. No, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, no. No, you know what this is for? It just occurred to me. This is the tail. Ow, how stupid can I be? There it is. That looks a little bit more. <laughs> That's what it was for right there. Well, that makes a little bit more sense. All right, I'm going to measure this right here and see what size that that is. We want to be able to get the right size pipe for that to fit into. We're going to do this in fractions of an inch, and then we'll do it in inches, and we'll do it in millimeters. So that's one and seven sixteenths, okay? 
one and seven sixteenths is what I'm getting off of that. So let's go to uh, let's go to millimeter for you European Europeans out there. Just over thirty six millimeters. I don't even know what that means to be honest. That's pretty sad, isn't it? And that looks like one point four three inches, which is not quite inch and a half. So if I got inch and a half plumbing pipe, the inside diameter of that pipe should be inch and a half. That's going to be pretty close to this. I wonder, they have O-rings on this actually. And with the O-rings, 145 of an inch, 12964ths, where you have exactly 37 millimeters. So I think if I took this, if I was able to find some inch and a half pipe, yeah, if I had some inch and a half pipe, I could, uh, I might be able to put something in there, maybe like a, to act as a bushing, maybe some kind of a, a rubber sleeve. Well, I'm actually really excited about this. I never actually purchased a wind generator before. I've made a bunch of them. This is my first purchase. I'm kind of surprised how heavy this thing is, to be honest. There's some real beef to this thing. And I'm pretty impressed with the, with the build quality. I mean, it obviously has these heavy cooling fins on there. Big massive shaft, not a lock washer, but in my experience, these generally don't need lock washers anyways. That's just a really heavy duty looking alternator they've got there. So I also purchased a, a voltmeter that's gonna give me the watts and the amps and all that stuff. So then I can figure out exactly how much this is making and share that with you guys. So in the future, we're gonna be making a tower for this and we're gonna be putting the three phase power all the way to my battery bank and uh, putting it through a bridge rectifier and into my batteries and of course I got a dump load controller that'll actually I'm just gonna put this in my batteries raw just like it is well after the bridge rectifier just goes we're just gonna hook it directly to the batteries to keep a load on it all the time I'll probably make a deal where I can short these three out to break it you know like in severe conditions if I don't want this thing just freaking out on me anyways you're gonna want to stay tuned for that and that's why you guys are going to want to hit that subscribe button too because there's going to be a lot lot more of this coming. I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty good generator. I mean, from what I've heard so far, like I said, Toys for Watts. You guys want to go check out his channel. You know, you need to check out some of his videos. He's got a whole bunch of inexpensive eBay wind generators that he's put all up and he compares them. That's what I needed to see. That was very useful information. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Like I said, we're going to be putting this thing up, so you're going to want to watch it. You're going to want to keep track of us in the future. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment in the section below. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.